J Dubs, you want to do a live view with me, boy? Come and join me. Leave that little stinky Vaughn Hilton at home and why don't you come and join me? Let's see what you got to say to me, bitch. Yeah, recap. Vaughn is a liar. The end. You know, I did have somebody stop by the house and tell me that uh, they were under the knowledge or opinion that um, uh, James Arnold Frost is not doing well. He is apparently having heart attacks and strokes and just all kinds of shit is just hitting him all at once. Uh, you know, I personally witnessed an ambulance uh, go down several times uh, now within the last month or so. So, uh, yeah, apparently the gods are beating the shit out of James Arnold Frost. Vaughn Hilton, news for you. The ambulance that you're seeing are not for James Arnold Frost. Sorry, Jim's doing live and well. I don't know who in the hell's giving you your information, but they don't know what they're talking about because Jim's doing good. Yeah, and there's over 17 houses past Vaughn Hilton's house that that ambulance could be going to. I know who the ambulance was for. I'm not saying, but it was not for Uncle Jim. I know that. Uncle Jim is doing real good. Has Uncle Jim ever had any strokes? Yeah, he's had two or three a couple years ago. Did he have to have heart work done? Yeah. A year and a half ago. He ain't been in the hospital since. Two. Enjoy them lights. Because it ain't much longer. Should be any day now, Blue. If he didn't pay the bill, it should be going off any day. Tell you the truth, I think it was due on the 18th, which is today. Oh, he said he paid the bill on the 14th. Okay. Solar said J-Dubs paid it. And I believe that. I think J-Dubs is in love with Vaughn Hilton. I do. Well, the next door neighbor right dead across the street is waiting for Vaughn Hilton to fuck up because he's sitting there waiting for that property to go up for sale. He's offered Vaughn Hilton $150,000 for it and Vaughn turned it down. Vaughn, your best bet is to sell everything and get the fuck out of Kentucky. But to me, that's his best bet is to get ready to sell them. His best bet is to sell them and get the hell out of Kentucky. And I hope he don't plan on going back to Ohio because they're waiting for him. There's things there that he's got on that property that people will buy from him. But, you know, he thinks everything's worth both arms and both legs when it's not worth all that. No, she sold her two nursing homes for just under $70,000. So how in the hell did $70,000 go to $32 million? I know my brother-in-law has been paying his rent every month. And that's $300 a month. So if his, uh, his Otis ain't bringing him his rent money, then Otis is keeping it and going to buy some bottles. My brother-in-law says he pays his rent every month. I'm going to tell him next time I talk to him to make sure he's getting rent receipts for him. Well, he ain't fixing nothing up. They're not going to pay rent if they're not nothing working. As far as I know, he's only got one renter. And that's my brother-in-law. See, the Frosts have only been down here, what, maybe 10 years. You know, 15 at the most. I've been down here for 40 years. There's no way he, his mommy ain't even been here for 40 years. His mama didn't move down here until 1993. I know I seen the light bill when she first had it turned on. So that's only 30 something years. How does he get 40? We all know he can't add. The, 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 the house he is in right now. That used to be the sister property. That used to be yours, right? That used to be my, yeah, that was my property. I lived on it. But and the problem is, is that I was on the land. I was owning the land. My mom had given the land to me, literally. We just hadn't, we, now we hadn't done anything formally, but I was already secure on that land. You know, I, I can't see how Vaughn Hilton says that the house Uncle Jim's in was his house. It was never in his name. His mom sold it to Jim. He never owned it. It was never in his name. 
He lived there, yes. I will admit that he did live there. But his mom never said she was giving him that property. Jim and Millie paid for that house in cash. And she took the cash and bought herself a brand new trailer and put it right next to Vaughn Hilton's trailer, which was her trailer before Vaughn Hilton moved in it. Well, it's just like he's telling everybody he's been there 40 years. He ain't been there 40 years. His mommy didn't move there until 1993. And she started in the house that Uncle Jim was in. That was the first place she bought. Then she bought the one little Irvy was in and she moved in it. Then she went ahead and sold Uncle Jim, the whatever place it's called, Jim's place, and bought a brand new trailer and put it right next to Vaughn. Yeah, he can't sell the land yet until it's all done and over with. Hell, I got a feeling the lawyers are going to end up with the property before it's all over with the way Vaughn's talking. I mean, if he ain't paid his taxes yet, he's in trouble because they were supposed to be due on December 31st. Is I want to know when the will was made. I know the one Jim and Millie had was an old one. That was back when the kids were just being born. They just had the twins. And Miss Alice did the will when all the twins were born. And then she had a problem with Uncle Jim because of Irvy. And, you know, she didn't want Jim to do it no more. Well, Irvy took over. She started going bankrupt. Her phones are getting shut off. Her lights are getting shut off. She called me crying to me. Larry, I need help. I need help. I went out and borrowed money to pay her bills. The following month, I had to go down to her Social Security department and get her Social Security out of his bank account and have it stopped and had it sent right to her brand new bank account that I opened up. Did Jim take about $10,000 out of her house? Yes. I'm not going to lie. Yes. It cost her about $10,000. She got a new roof put on her house. She got a new skylight put in the house, in her bathroom. She had the sliding glass doors removed and had a brand new door put in. She had every room in the house painted. She had all the carpet pulled up and had all hardwood floors put in. Right there's two, three grand right there alone. Them hardwood floors are nothing to play with. They're big money. I don't think she even had any jewelry that was worth money. I think it was more costume jewelry than it was anything else. And there's only one pawn shop in the whole town, so it's not hard to find out. He's been broke for a long time. It's just scraping and scrounging to the end now. That $30,000 that was in that bank account lasted him almost a year, so... At 32000 I wouldn't have spent it like him. I literally would have got them houses back in order for I can start renting them out and have that income coming in every month. Not him. He left it in the bank and spent it on TV dinners and whatever, styrofoam planes or whatever. They're going to look at what he did with the $32,000 and what's been going on, how he's been paying his bills and how he's doing this and that. And they're determined on that. You know, I thought it was funny because a couple weeks ago I found out a few things. Is you know, Von Hilton kept saying that he was going to send his kids to who? Once he got them back, he was sending them to Ohio to who? Them are also the exact same people that bought the nursing homes from his mother. So if his mother got screwed on them nursing homes, it was the family that he's going to send his kids to. The gentries, yes. They're the ones that bought the nursing homes from Alice. Alice owned two of them. They owned one with Miss Alice. They were half and half. So they bought out Aunt Alice. And Alice took the money and moved back to Kentucky. You know, it's just like the alien story. I've heard that alien story changed 10 different times. When he literally told me, Ronnie Ray... And my father, the story, is he was three foot away from it when he shot it. And he missed. 
the story that he put out here on YouTube is it was running up the hill. See, that's the problem with Vaughn. He can't even keep the lie straight. And then within that month that he told me that he missed that alien three feet away, he told me that he can outshoot my father. And I told him I got a thousand dollar bet that says he cannot outshoot my father. Yeah, recap. Vaughn is a liar. The end.